that was to the pitch and some uh, beats and music. Yes, well, I tried um, different woods. Um, like at first something very quiet and then some beats that <laughs> we could hear afterwards with the speaker. And um, this audiovisual uh, welcome was this um, indigenous uh, folk song in Quechua and with some Spanish words. And well, we are actually here to present this audiovisual reaction from music and samples. Um, and I want to talk about the possibility to use this audiovisual tool in uh, therapy. Um, First, I want to talk about the music and the use of music in therapy and then I will uh, speak about the visuals and, uh, um, and the reaction between music and visuals in therapy. Um, well, music in therapy, uh, other than in spoken words, um, opens another layer, another dimension of perception. For example, if I ask in a spoken therapy to someone, how are you doing, or how are you today? I have a spoken response, maybe also like <laughs> moving or whatever, but at, at the end, um, the person can say good, bad, cited, like a spoken, um, a spoken reaction. In music therapy, I would probably say, um, pick an instrument or Yes, an, an instrument to make a sound with the title, how are you doing today? So in the, the spoken therapies, we are using our speech and the words, and that's what we use. And this is a dimension we use in the everyday interaction. In the music therapy, you're opening this other dimension. I can also ask someone, well, you played a song or a sound about how are you doing today? Now play a song with the title, um, today, or I am today, and then discover and explore changes uh, in the inner thought processes of the, the person while, while experimenting and creating music. So this is um, an example about music in therapy, but now uh, we are also using this tool uh, and, uh, uh, that reacts to the music in a visual way. And this is also very interesting to me uh, in therapy because we not only create an object with out of our emotions or um, thoughts, um, we create this object music from inside to the outside, is also this object impacting on the world, impacting in a visual way that we can't control. Like this is um, a little fiction because we are creating an other, like a mirror, um, to interact with. Um, it could be a, a person, in this case, music, and we are interacting. What is this music doing to me? This music, sometimes we say, this music makes me happy, this music makes me sad. This music makes me think about something, um, or I did this to the music, we are interacting already. And in this interaction, we have this uh, other instance, the visual instance, that we can't really control. It is a tool uh, that is reacting to uh, a pitch, and sometimes also, um, depending on the setting, is reacting to uh, rhythm. So uh, we have the impact of this what we are creating. Um, in this case with bubbles or strawberries, it could be other samples. Um, yes, and this takes us to an uh, early stage of the develop, um, of um, development psychology. This takes us to a stage 
where um, where we weren't perhaps totally aware of uh, our existence, but we were, like, as, as babies, uh, getting all the time the impact that we made on, the, on other people. That, uh, maybe a baby cries and then baby becomes a, a feedback of a, the mother's face or the father's face and that's how in this development stage you become uh, this awareness that you exist. So um, I think this is an uh, interesting aspect of this tool to be able to use it in therapy um, to, to explore this, that we are not exploring on the everyday uh, with spoken words that um, that's why we call it a uh, self, uh, self experience and uh, exploring the self because we are uh, interacting with the music, the music with the visuals and um, we are getting a feedback of our inner emotions um, this is only one possible way to see it I think this is not, uh, this doesn't have a methodology attached to it, this is a tool, like an instrument, and well, um, we also wanted to show a uh, looper that uh, is part of this project um, to make the, the things uh, more playful, perhaps, and yeah, Renee is going to show us how this works, and I'm going to stay here for some sounds. Full screen. Um, you. But uh, this is kind of what a looper is. But uh, this is kind of what a looper is. But uh, this is kind of what a looper is. And you can also this is the link to a looper. And you can also this is kind of what a looper is. And you can also this is kind of what a looper is. So yeah, so uh, we. Maybe also uh, I talked about the therapeutic um, use that it can have. It's also uh, maybe for education, like for example, um, to learn how to do uh, chords in music uh, theory um, in a way that also uh, the music reacts to the visuals, for example. Um, and then I can try to build a chord and say, okay, now I'm doing the uh, major uh, third.
to um, to train this for example you have this looper you can play with sounds and and um, also um, for uh, visual uh, theories or for color theories you can also use this program from um, because of the audio is reacting to visual so you can try to explain theories as this theory in an integral way explain um, explain as audio with visuals or visuals with audio this is now reacting to the the rhythm <laughs> and maybe Rene will show us very quickly how to use it to explain colors um, this is colors this is Colors and there's a these are uh, primary colors uh, being shown and they're blending. So the Id the idea is that you could um, uh, use your mouth and then make some sounds and then uh, make a blue color or a green color or a red color. And by playing with it, you can sort of train your your voice to be able to reproduce those uh, different pictures. Those um, how your voice wobbles at a certain frequency and so this one here you could ask uh, ask a student um, like how to blend uh, what happens when you blend blue and green like what do you see what color do you get or what happens with uh, red and blue and then they can kind of just play uh, play about with them and yeah find sort of by sort of experiencing with your mouth and with your uh, movement moving about and um, uh, seeing and hearing it's kind of an interesting sort of full experiential kind of uh, way of learning things well this is um, our project like to try to um, experience audio and visuals uh, for therapy, education, and be playful with it. Thank you.